Good evening, software engineers. We're coming into the home stretch, and I know you've got questions, so let's make sure we get those answers to you right now so you know exactly how we're wrapping things up. So jumping over to the browser window. First off, quiz six came out today. Sorry I'm a little late with this video. Kind of a crazy day around the sheriff house, but you know, that's the way it is these days. So four questions total, all of them kind of essay-ish, I guess, when you get down to it. Looking at the licensing in your project, what is a EULA about, who owns the code uh, for your project that you that you personally posted to GitHub? Make sure you look at that one closely. And then for question four, I've got an ethical situation here, um, basically identifying two clauses that you would apply to this situation, and then fully dis discuss fully discuss a course of action here. Now, if you just give me a number one and you write clause 1.03, and then clause 2.65 and then you give me a paragraph, that ain't gonna fly. Um, I want this to be like a discussion, okay? Um, I expect you to also, if you, when you use those clauses, you need to say, I'm looking at clause you know, 1.03, uh, which references, and you need to talk about it, okay? So this is not a, you know, if we were doing this in a timed environment in the room, this is one thing. Give this some thought. Give me a reasonable explanation here. This question is worth way more points than the other questions. Uh, this question is worth 6,000 XP and the other 4,000 is balanced against the other three questions. So yeah, this is not the one to just kind of, you. this is the one I want you to think about and give me a good reason to answer about, okay? That's quiz six. You've got it. You have until Monday, the 27th, but you might not want to take that much time. So what I've done is in your student resources folder that you find, uh, you know, linked off the right side of the page, you know all this by now, you know where this folder is. I've added a new document called Remaining XP. So I'm going to do my best to update this throughout the week as I get things posted. But um, here's what you've got left. Quiz 5 came in today. We're going to start grading that as soon as possible. We're going to actually have a grading party on Wednesday because, I don't know, it seemed like fun. So we're going to do a grading party um, try and knock that out as soon as possible. Quiz six, we'll do our best to grade them as they come in, but no promises, but we will do our absolute best to try and keep those scores rolling. Scrum Masters, the Scrum Master Report is not due until next Monday, but same deal. Uh, those are a bit easier to grade. I, I think those those we should get back to you pretty soon. Um, and then the beta testing, uh, the beta test reports, uh, those aren't worth 15,000. Those are worth 10,000. Sorry about that because the other 5,000 was the uh, test plan. So that 10,000 XP for testing managers, um, the TA should be grading those after you have your meeting with them this week. And then finally, your team evaluation scores, that 15,000 XP, I will calculate that myself at the end of the week. It will be a combination of your evaluations throughout the semester, plus your final team evaluation, and I will send a link that to link for that to you very soon to make sure that you see it. This is the very final evaluation for your team. You're supposed to take into account everything in the semester, not just the last week. This is how did a person do over the entire semester. I'll take that into consideration. I'll talk to the TAs, see what the TAs have to say about how the teams worked and who did what on which team. Um, if everyone says everything is hunky-dory, then great. You know, that's kind of how things move. If people say, no, I think you need to pay attention to someone, okay, then I'm going to dig a little bit deeper. That's when I'll start looking at, at GitHub um, commits. Um, you know, so when you fill out your final evaluation, make sure you tell me the whole picture as much as you can, and I can go from there, all right? Your final, your team project scores were 25,000 XP. This is the back half of the 50,000 that's for your entire project. Um, if your team wants to go early, send me a message. I've had a few teams already message me. Um, if you, uh, and about 15 minutes to have that meeting, um, I can do it during the week. Send me an email, we'll schedule it. Um, I can even do later at night. Um, if that works for your team, it's actually shockingly easier for me maybe to do some of these meetings at 11 o'clock PM. Ugh, sounds terrible, but hey, what do you know? So if you if your team is ready to go and you want to get that done this week, you're welcome to do so. Otherwise, I have time set aside next week on the 28th, 29th, and 30th where we can do our meetings then to award those points. All guided practice scores are done and are now posted in your dashboard. So hooray, that's done. And then finally, your lab attendance scores. Remember, 
that the back 6,000 XP of the lab attendants that was available, um, 4,000 is 2,000 each for doing the two assigned beta testing um, teams, and you can earn another 2,000 by beta testing another team. If you have any further questions about how this works, let me know soon because obviously beta testing is wrapping up. Um, I will post those as basically as they come in. Um, I will take a first pass at the form probably tomorrow to post the scores that I've got at that point. So um, basically every night I'll come in here and change this to show what is still remaining. Hopefully this helps people because you can calculate what XP is left and figure that out against what the dashboard is showing you, what your letter grade or your uh, CRGC in C would be. Uh, and then you can make your decision from that point. So uh, just a quick explanation of where we're at right now. I do have some videos planned for the week. Um, probably come out toward the end of the week. Might actually come out early next week. Um, it really just kind of depends about things are going with all the grading. So I just want to make sure I keep up with that. But I do want to at least do a nice overview of what we did in the class. Um, give you my thoughts on some of the feedback I've already seen, um, which is admittedly the same feedback you get every year, which is, you should teach us more Django, to which I say, nope. <laughs> that sounds mean, but um, I'll explain it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I appreciate all the feedback that I've gotten. Uh, it's all been um, very constructive, and I do appreciate it. So um, hope you're having a good evening. Um, I'm trying my best to make sure this last week is not stressful as much as possible, that you understand what was going on. I'll try and stay on top of things. So hang in there. Hang in there, friends. We're about there. We're about there. So have a good one.